So in the tribulation, uh, do I want this one? This one. So just because it's one seal, one, it doesn't mean one seal, second seal, third seal, fourth seal, fifth seal. It's not one seal per year. It's not one trumpet per year. The first seal, which is the white horse rider, goes out first. He's only here for 40 days, then he's gone. Then the red horse rider begins the 14 years. So what you're going to come to see is from the beginning of the 14 years, after the 50 days, from the beginning of the 14 years to the end of the sixth year is the second seal to the end of the sixth seal. So there's only, what, uh, five seals. You have the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth that will take place over these six years. The seventh one happens later after the great multitude rapture. And the first one happens in the 50 days. So these other five that take place over six years, it's not one and then another and then another. Some will overlap. Some will end. Another will start. One will go through to the end, take a portion from the other one. It's not just one after the other, one year, one year, one year. Okay, so I want to make that clear with people. <clears throat> the other thing I want to make clear is that you, I've seen a couple teachings recently, and I could see their confusion in it. They've had really good information, but some people would like to tell you that, oh, we're already in the millennial reign. You know, we're in the millennial reign and the tribulation, sure, it hasn't started yet, but it's going to come, but it's part of the millennial reign. No, it 100% isn't. And one of the number one reasons people fall for it is because they begin their counts from the birth of Christ. Just like when people go back to Adam, they begin from the creation, from the forming of Adam. That is not where the fall happened. And that was not where salvation took place. You see, there was no salvation until Christ's death and resurrection. That is where the count starts. There was no fall with Adam when he was formed. It wasn't until Eve and then what took place and then Adam had his portion. That was where the fall took place. And it's believed by some that Adam was probably the same age as Christ about 33, 34 years old. That makes sense. So it would it would have these equivalent portions of time in between. And so that's why you'll hear people that think that, well, it was 2,000 years and then 2,000 years to Christ. And then from Christ until the year about 2,000, that's another 2,000 years. And they say, see, we're already in the millennial reign, the 7,000th years. No, we're not. It's It's the understanding of where it begins. And it didn't begin at Christ's birth. It began at his death and resurrection. All right. 